Hello my dear friends, today in this video we will discuss about some HVAC interview questions and answers. These are the common questions regularly asking from the beginning till now. So let me discuss about that one by one very quickly. Uh, which standard is using in HVAC? ASHRAE standard, American Society of Heating, Refrigerating and Air Conditioning Engineers. Very simple. Uh, question number two. What is, uh, what is the purpose of a three-way valve and a two-way valve? Uh, two-way valve, it is direct, two-way valve means it is uh, same like isolation valve, motorized system. It is directly stopping the flow of uh, chilled water. Two-way valve and three-way valve is fixing where? First of all, we need to understand in the valve packages, valve, V-A-L-V-E, valve packages for AHUs and FCUs. Three-way valve system is using for old system like if uh, your pump is running in a constant speed you need to use a three-way valve. Two-way valve means uh, if your pump is running with a variable frequency drive or VFD, you can use two-way valve. Very simple. That means if for example one AHU shut down, one AHU shut down, two H, three AHU shut down, that means the signal will go to the pump uh, VFD, VFD will reduce the RPM of the pump room motor. You got it? Yes. Uh, number three, what is the full form of HVAC? I will not give the answer, you can find out, very simple. <laughs> uh, how to maintain uh, pressure in HVAC piping system? Very important question. How to maintain pressure in uh, HVAC piping system? There is a small leakages, condensation and evaporation, there is a pressure drop is there. So, we, there is a system called uh, yani chilled water pressurization unit. Chilled water pressurization unit is very simple. There is a tank, there is a motor, there is a control system is there. There is the pressure is uh, preset system is there. Once uh, the, in, the, in, the, in the end air line, the certain pressure is come down, the pump automatically will run and feed the water again to the line. This is a very simple chilled water pressurization unit, uh, compulsory in uh, wherever chilled water is there. Uh, like uh, next question is, is that, what is the difference between FCU and AHU? FCU means fan coil unit, AHU means air handling unit. FCU is installing inside the rooms, small rooms, small areas and there is three types of uh, FCU is there like uh, uh, fan goal units, like um, uh, decked is there, decorative unit is there. This all you can search in the Google, like uh, this, uh, this FCU is particularly using to cool a small area. But in the another opposite side air handling unit is there to cool a wide area. The CFM is very high, huge, and the size is huge. AH is always fixing in the plant rooms mostly. Suspended AHUs are also there, but very uh, rarely using uh, suspended AHUs. But uh, uh, H, very simply, we can say, for example, fan coil unit, very big size uh, and little difference in design is H. You can search in the uh, Google, uh, Google also, there are so many photos uh, available. This is the main difference in uh, AHUs and FCUs. Uh, how does, uh, next question, how does chilled water system operate? It is a very long answer, not simple answer. Chilled water system, starting from where? S starting from, from the, uh, from the atmosphere. From where there is a cooling tower, from there it is starting. From the cooling tower, a cooling tower uh, again it is coming to the chiller. Chiller uh, condenser is working as a cooling tower, and uh, evaporator, chiller evaporator uh, is there as a you know heat exchangers. Uh, that means chiller uh, coolant and uh, chilled water pipeline coolant will not directly mix. There is a uh, heat exchanger is there. So the, both water will not mix, but the heat will, yeah, cold air will transfer, cold water will transfer. Cold, you know, the, the, the temperature only will transfer. So this is the first stage. That uh, cold uh, temperature, uh, um, you know, the uh, 
chilled water it will reach the chilled water pump room a chilled water pump room it will do only one thing that it will pump the chilled water to end their uh, station that's the main purpose it will rotate like that supply line return line both are there you know that is the main thing uh, supply and return uh, there is no single uh, chilled water line there is d always double uh, chilled water line because it is one side it is supplying another side is return so once it is supplying it will uh, supply to the afcu a choose and all again it will come back and again it is circulating it will reach to the heat exchangers uh, again cooling and supplying like this so very simple system uh, the, the diagram you can f find out in the google and you can search it yani uh, next question very important in airports and all uh, glycol system is working glycol G-L-Y-C-O-L. Very important. Why glycol system? Glycol system, that means normal temperature of a AH or FCO, you can bring maximum 5.6 to 6 degrees Celsius. But if you want 0 degrees Celsius air, what you will do? There is a glycol chemical server. Glycol is nothing. It's a chemical. That's all. Uh, the chemical, ha this uh, chemical having a capacity that even in zero degree Celsius, you should uh, make this, uh, you know, temperature below zero, the chilled water, the glycol chilled water temperature. So then only you will get uh, the zero degree Celsius air. We are using the zero degree Celsius air for the aircraft. When the aircraft is in the standby mode or for example, it is standing in the rotunda, uh, you know, rotunda, you know, the, where the passengers are coming out. This is called rotunda. When the aircraft is standing in the rotunda, uh, the engine is off. If the keep engine, it is too much fuel, it is required. So at that time, the, air, the, the aircraft need to be cool. So for that, there is a pipe, you may see the yellow color pipe, it is connecting from the downs, from the floor to the um, aircraft bottom. Uh, this is supplying air, you know, the zero degree Celsius air. The, the requirement of aircraft is zero degree Celsius air. For that, glycol system is there. Glycol system, HU is different. There is two major coils are there. One is normal chill water coil, another is, one is glycol coil. Chill water coil is cooling um, up to uh, 5.6 or 6 degree Celsius. Again, the glycol uh, coil will make to zero degree Celsius. Very simple technology, you know. How is the welding of a chilled water pipes tested? Uh, how to uh, means how, how they are test testing? There is a two type of testing is there. Uh, like uh, normally at, at this construction site, what we are doing, we will fill the water, pumping up to 12 bar or 12 bar yes, 12 bar pressure, 24 hours. This is a common question, the common testing. Uh, if your pipe is very huge. Like your pipe diameter is uh, 2 meter diameter pipe or 1.5 meter diameter pipe. It is impossible to fill too much water, right? So in this case, what you will do, there is a DP test is there, dye penetration test. Uh, when, uh, wherever you are doing the welding, there is a spray is there, again another spray. Then wherever the hole or something is there, it will penetrate. So in that case, uh, finally you can do air testing, any compressed air you can fill it. So this way you can do the testing. So this is the practical way for you know very big pipeline. Finally, when you are filling the you know chilled water, of course, okay, there is a possibility, but 99 percent it will be okay in this such situation. Mostly chilled water heavy pipeline is breaking because lack of supports, not because of building issue. Because for example, it's a huge weight. If the support, you know, there are so many supports are there. If it is underground, uh, then you need to, you know, uh, concrete support, everything you need to provide. Otherwise, big problem. This one. I fed up too much this about <laughs> this underground uh, chilled water piping. So, uh, this is the way they tested. How is the insulation of chilled water pipe done? Okay, very simple. There is um, uh, two type of insulation is there. For small chilled water pipe, you can see there is a black color. I forget the name of that chemical. Uh, the rack cool and all insulation is there. Yes, uh, the chemical name is different. If you have, if you know the comment it in the description. 
and uh, there is commonly used uh, you know uh, glass pool rack pool insulations are there uh, glass pool insulation commonly using this insulation not uh, coming in sheet it is coming in the shape of a pipe halfly cut it just uh, for example 100 mm pipe uh, you just bring that insulation close it together or wrap it that's it simple so uh, this uh, so many manufacturers are there to make the insulation for chilled water pipes uh, and the calculation also is different mostly uh, 40 mm 50 mm uh, thickness is there for the insulation and aluminium wrap uh, taping also is there in the outside uh, like uh, for example 100 mm pipe you may, you may find it's very big like this <laughs> okay um, what is ducting explain about ducting yes ducting is very simple to transfer a air maybe hot air or hot, cold air or exhaust air whatever it is from one place to another place ducting it may be prefabricated ducting it may chilled water ducting whatever it is this is ducting and for uh, construction industry we have fresh air duct we have uh, supplier duct return air duct kitchen exhaust duct toilet exhaust duct so many ducting are there so this is all uh, ducting yes okay uh, what is uh, ducting in a kitchen kitchen ducting most comfortable is stainless steel because you know um, mild steel material also was using but mild stealing uh, steel there is so much uh, too much you know there is in the kitchen too much of tar you know the black color one once we go for the maintenance very horrible stainless steel we can clean it very easily and uh, gedit gedit will never use in uh, uh, toilets uh, sorry kitchens because there is a chemical reaction is there that's why not recommended next question what is drum jet diffusers very important questions for example if you are standing in the airport you cannot they cannot provide uh, you know uh, diffusers above your uh, head uh, first of all, you need to understand what is um, uh, occupied area, human occupied area. Uh, 1.5 meter above floor level is human occupied areas. Okay, so uh, for the HUs, it is a, uh, sorry for the airports uh, like big metro stations, it's a big wide area. So that in the wall you can find out there is a hole, 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 and air is coming from that holes. This is a drum jet diffusers. It's nothing simple. It's a round shape. Um, 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 material is there. Uh, in the back side, there is a big duct is there. <clears throat> so the, velo the air, air, air velocity will be very high. So it can uh, throw the air, uh, you know, very long distance. 24 meter up to 24 meters drum jet diffusers are there. I, I seen maybe more than that is available. Next question. Um, how does a damper works in uh, HVAC? There is so many types of dampers are there. Fire damper, uh, motorized supply dampers, motorized dampers, and uh, smoke dampers. So many dampers are there. Each damper is using to control or isolate the uh, air volume. Very simple answer. Very simple answer. For example, fresh air HU. Yeah, you have a damper, motorized damper is there connected with uh, um, the um, building management BMS system. So 10% of the pressure, for example, you need to take for AHU. This will open up, up to that, you know, the motor. So it is only for isolation. That's isolation and control. This is the main usage of dampers. Fire damper is uh, also isolation. When there is a fire is there, uh, the, the there is a lead is there it will melt and the shutter will close down fire damper is shutter symbol when the fire is there fire should not pass to the one one room to the another room through the duct so the fire is coming uh, then there is a lead is there uh, the shutter it is like that and uh, lead is there in the bottom lead is uh, broken the shutter will come down so and the inside the duct itself uh, the uh, um, temper the um, uh, fire will not pass what is the purpose of a uh, insulated ducting insulation insulated ducting i will explain to you uh, to avoid the condensation and evaporation very simple 
uh, insulation and, and chill water insulation also for same to avoid the in, uh, condensation and evaporation okay <coughs> for most of the ducts uh, we don't want uh, insulation for example fresh air ducts fresh air duct is uh, if it is passing through a conditioned area we need insulation otherwise no need for example kitchen exhaust duct a uh, kitchen exhaust duct uh, if it is passing through a conditioned area air conditioned area so then we need insulation unless otherwise no need so there is a chance for condensation that's why so this is our conditions and the supplier uh, duct of course you need uh, you know insulation from wherever it is passing maybe conditioned area unconditioned area you need uh, insulation for the supplier return air mostly uh, you need insulation Uh, because uh, return air uh, temperature we need to uh, keep maintain so uh, insulation material uh, is uh, depends uh, sometimes uh, glass wool insulation rack wool insulation and uh, there, there is a uh, last time foam insulation this kind of insulation are the, the black color sheet N next question is uh, uh, what is the three types of ducting uh, types of ducting there is uh, if you ask if somebody ask you there is a uh, types means there are so many types i can tell you like as i told you supply return um, kitchen exhaust something like this this is some type of ducting and the material wise if you see uh, you know the ga ducting and prefabricated ducting such kind of ducting and the shape wise if you see rectangular ducting Uh, round uh, I mean circular ducting oval shaped ducting flexible ducting this kind of ducting so um, if uh, the interviewer may uh, which 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 class they are asking you need to understand first of all uh, you can explain all these things yes <laughs> uh, what is mean by isolation valve isolation valve is isolating and in a stopping any pipe Uh, you know liquid flow or air flow clear like isolation uh, valve may be an uh, isolation valve is common name it may be uh, gate valve it may be butterfly valve it may be uh, like um, bowl valve or whatever it is uh, commonly we are calling isolation valve okay so isolation valve is using everywhere like plumbing hvac chilled water everywhere in the construction industry we need a uh, isolation valve and last question is that what is drv drv uh, drv means a double regulating valve it is using in chilled water like a valve package a return air a re, sorry return line as uh, some uh, chill water supply line is return line in the return line we will fix drv uh, drv is purposely using for um, control the volume of liquid or volume of chill water this is drv we can the testing commissioning team they will uh, control it there is there is a, a knob is there the blue color one i think blue color is they will control it there is ma there, there is a marking options are there there is some points are there yes they will control it so uh, whenever you go for uh, interview in hvac uh, remember me or give me a thumbs up or a subscription uh, for this channel so we can grow up and we can reach to more people uh, who is uh, uh, searching mep like uh, like you and uh, for mep uh, hvac uh, hvac people will be the king of uh, you know construction industry because they are uh, ruling the uh, construction site because the major part is covering the duct major part is uh, covering the you know uh, chill water lines everything electric land all they are uh, like <laughs> going like you know small small things so the construction manager or maybe the uh, senior project manager whatever it is they may become a hvc engineer so like this this is commonly i saw in uh, construction industry so how you are looking in your uh, construction site uh, please comment on the, on the description thank you so much for watching this video thank you bye bye